Hey guys, I'm Rahul Rahul. I'm finally here to explain you about the most beautiful and the most anticipated exam of the year, CET. Let's talk about the sections that you have, the kind of scores that you need, the percentiles that you can get through the scores, the kind of colleges that will give you an admission and everything about this exam. Let me enlighten you more about CET. So let's talk about sections first. The first section that we have is logical reasoning. Now this section, if you notice, gives you around 100 to 110 questions, which is 100 to 110 marks, so which means 50% of your paper will be logical reasoning. The next one we have on the list is verbal ability, which is around 50 to 55 questions, which is like, again, a significant one because, you know, 50 questions is around 25%. Then we have the most scary section. Now, you know, this is like a hype thing that everybody thinks visual reasoning is very, very, very scary. I'd like to change your perception someday, for sure. Then we have quantitative ability, which is just 20, 25 questions. So my folks out there who are really scared of quant, here's a good news for you. Here's the exam that you need to focus on. Quantitative ability is just 10%. And finally, we have data interpretation, which just has 20 questions in it again, 10% of the entire paper. So if you notice carefully, the first three sections will become the most crucial sections for you if you want to crack this exam. And the last two sections will also play an equally important role if you're looking for a dream college of yours, JBIMS. All right, so let's have a look at every section and what is important in each section. So I'll, I'll start with a few of my favorite sections, which is Quant, DI and Visual Reasoning and slowly and steadily move towards LR and Verbal Ability. All right, let's take it forward from here. All right, before we dig into any of these sections of CET, let's formulate a few prerequisites of CET. The first thing you gotta know is squares. Now, I always ask this question, how many of you know one to, what is the upper limit? One to 20, one to 25, what, 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 how many squares do you know? For cracking CET, you gotta know squares from one to 100, if not more than this. A few numbers more like, for example, 979 square and 993 square are all doable, however. Okay, so let's understand 1 to 100. How will you get these squares in place? 1 to 100, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you like around, let's say, you know, 1 to 25 squares. I'm gonna give you 10 more squares, okay, right away. So I normally do this is one of my uh, USP, you can say. I ask everybody a question that, do you know counting? They say, obviously, yes, I know counting. So let's start counting. First number, 16. Then you have 17. Then you have 18. Then you have 19. Then you have 20. Then you have... 21 then you have 22 I'm sure you're not getting bored then you have 23 then you have 24 and then you have 25 so these are numbers from 16 to 25 okay uh, now what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm sure each one of you listening to this watching this no squares from 1 to 10 yeah you know numbers till 10 squares till 10 obviously I write a zero square out here so it's double zero I write a one square out here everything in two digits I write a two square out here I write a three square out here I write a four square out here I write a five square six square seven square eight square and nine square these are I mean if you notice these are ten four digit numbers formed these are squares of 41 to 50 so here I've given you ten new squares okay all together 41 to 50 Let's have a look at one more example. Let, let's say you want to square 90, 96. How do you square 96? Now, whenever you see a number 96, the first thing that comes to your head is, let's just go 100 minus 4 the whole square. Okay? Then it'll be like a square minus 2ab plus blah, 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 b square. Okay? Now, this is like a very stupid way of finding any square like 96. Okay? There's certainly a better method. All that you got to do is look at this number. You may pause this video for another second and have a look at this number carefully. 96 okay uh, so I, I like to go about it this way I would say 96 is 4 less than 100 so I'll subtract 4 from 96 so I get 92 and I'll write a 4 square which is 16 and yo that's the answer 916 okay let's take one more example let's say I want to find 94 square I'll say again the same thing. I'll compare these numbers to 100 all the time. I'll find out the, you know, how far are they from 100. So I would say 94 is 6 lesser than 100. So I'll just subtract 6. I get 88 and I added 36, 36 because it's 6 squared. And yo, we got it again, 94 squared. 
is 8836 and that's how you're supposed to know squares okay so in this fashion what are we going to do is we're going to take it ahead and teach you all these squares one after the other as we move ahead with our classes online all right all right so these were squares the next prerequisite of CET is one of my favorite topic which is reciprocals have a look at these 12 reciprocals you may pause this video out here and just take a note of all these 12 numbers 1 by 1 to 1 by 12 so let's quickly go through this 1 by 1 is 100 1 by 2 is 50 1 by 3 is 33 1 by 3 1 by 4 is 25 1 by 5 is 20 1 by 6 16 2 by 3 1 by 7 14 2 by 7 1 by 8 12 and a half 1 by 9 11 1 by 9 1 by 10 is 10 1 by 11 is 9 1 by 11 1 by 12 is 8 1 third if you know these 12 numbers thoroughly i'll help you solve 90 percent of the questions of these two areas quant and di which is around 36 questions in a matter of 15 to 20 seconds per question all right so this was about it this is about cet 2015 by rohan ravel this was about what kind of sections do you have in CET, how many marks per section and the two prerequisites squares and reciprocals okay in our next video I'll be showing you how do you solve questions on DI quant and visual reasoning these three areas in the time that I promised 15 to 20 seconds per question also how do you strategize your attempts for JBIMS how do you reach this golden number 200 attempt in CET okay thank you very much it was great talking to you all